Uh, this is something, Mr. Chairman, I'm not sure if you're aware of that. I was working on uh, in a task force back in Massachusetts on the, these types of abuses, as especially the, just the rampant, uh, you know, drug problem uh, amongst our youth and, and others uh, with with this type, these types of substances. We really didn't get into the fraud part of it, but we certainly get into the the issue itself and uh, made uh, Senator Steve Tolman and, and I uh, and others uh, tried to tackle this very real problem. And I know that we're trying also to uh, address these difficult decisions and we're trying to put our nation on a path, uh, on a path of fiscal stability. Folks, you all know what's going on. You know we're in a financial emergency. You know we're trying to find a way to do it better. It's been an honor to be in this committee and, and try to tackle a lot of these very real issues and try to find a way to do it better. And, uh, and I do support uh, and have very strong support for the Medicare and Medicare prescription drug, drug programs. They're important programs. Uh, we all know they provide essential benefits to our seniors. That's why more than ever we must protect these pr programs because uh, you know, they're looking to be changed. And if we can weed out a lot of this fraud and, and, and abuse, we, we will have more money in the system, obviously, to uh, give back to the people that need it the most. And, the subcommittee is releasing a GAO report uh, that I think was asked to, to be done by uh, Senator Carper and exposes the outrageous practice that taxpayer dollars are, are potentially funding through the Medicare Part D program, illicit prescription drug dealing. And uh, the findings in the GAO report highlight this problem. As, as the Senator noted, I'm, I can't remember if he said this, but one Medicare recipient, uh, as you know, visited 58 different doctors to obtain uh, 300 3,655 oxycodone pills equivalent to 1,679 day supply. And these prescriptions equate to a street value of uh, almost $300,000. And many of these highlighted uh, addictive uh, prescription narcotics will find their way into the street, hurting communities, kids, families. And uh, the doctor shopping is the primary way that they get around the lawful use of these medications. And only a very small percentage of Medicare uh, Part D beneficiaries, approximately 1.8 percent, are engaging in this type of behavior. Though the percentage is small, we're still talking about approximately 170,000 people abusing this system, according to the GAO, which costs the taxpayers approximately $148 million annually. I mean, that's real money, folks. And uh, what I've tried to do uh, since I've been here is to keep an open mind and try to find ways without throwing bombs uh, at all, uh, you know, as to, like, where's the breakdown? And the key that we need to try to find out is where's the breakdown? Where can we try to fix it? It's not only waste taxpayer dollars by paying huge amounts and unneeded prescription drugs and unneeded doctor's visits, but also it takes a very high human toll, and we all know what that uh, involves. It's uh, this uh, prescription drug abuse is one of the nation's fastest growing drug problems and is now categorized by the uh, Centers for Disease Control as an epidemic. And we must do everything we can do to create a, a stronger oversight of these controlled substances. In fact, in some cases, our entitlement programs, which were established to benefit our country's most vulnerable, are, are instead being used to fuel addiction and uh, abuse. And it's really, uh, with all due respect, Mr. Chairman, unconscionable what's happening. And we've had, held several important hearings. Uh, some of them, some uh, I, I think have been really just fascinating, uh, the things that I've learned through your, your leadership. And I, I commend uh, the chairman for holding them. But this one, this one uh, I, I don't think there's none that are more important than this one, quite frankly. So uh, I'm looking forward to beginning with the hearing. And uh, Mr. Chairman, I appreciate you bringing it up. Thank you. You bet. And, uh Thank you for, uh, for, 